Make it better, make it cheaper, make it faster. That is the American Temple. Just like millions of other people, there has surely been a time when you've needed to replace a battery in your house. Maybe your television remote is dead. Maybe your smoke detector's out of juice. Perhaps you just need to swap out old batteries with new ones in a flashlight or some other various household item. Is it a hassle? It sure is. It can be quite annoying, but it's not that complicated. Open the device, swap the batteries, turn it back on. It's as simple as that. Now, imagine you went to the drawer only to find there wasn't a single new battery for you to use. Then you go to your local store and discover there aren't any there either. What would happen if you couldn't get your hands on any batteries? Would you just sit there and wait for more to be created and available for purchase, or would you go through the effort to actually make your own? How do you power a world without batteries? That's the conundrum that Elon Musk's Tesla is facing, and to be quite honest, Tesla is facing a unique problem unlike any other that's come before. It's not a complication that everybody knows about, but it is one that's creating quite the headache. Tesla and all electric car companies are facing a massive battery shortage crisis. Because of the popularity of Tesla and other electric cars, the entire world has emptied out of the main power source for these state-of-the-art cars. And now there are some difficult choices to be made. What is Tesla doing to forge ahead and keep creating their special one-of-a-kind cars during such a pressing battery shortage? Well, it's pretty much doing anything it can. Before we can discuss what Tesla is doing to battle this unprecedented battery crisis, we need to first explain what it is. The basic premise is this. The metal lithium is needed when manufacturing batteries. It's the lightest metal on Earth and a vital part of all rechargeable batteries. Harvested straight from the Earth itself, lithium is made available by massive mining operations. However, setting up one of these mining sites isn't easy. It takes a lot of money and time. Unfortunately, over the last few years, lithium prices have plummeted, and that has caused many of these mining operations to shutter due to the lack of profit. Now, as lithium demands grow only more pressing, there isn't enough production to meet the soaring demand. And even if a massive number of mining projects sprung up overnight, they wouldn't be able to work fast enough. Double and triple time production isn't fast enough. Not only are lithium batteries needed for your own home, they are vitally important in the world of electronic cars too. As you know, you can't run an electric car without a battery. But as electric cars become more popular, the strain on the lithium battery industry is just growing larger and larger. At current prices, it's estimated that there won't even be any lithium batteries left by the year 2025. And that's not far off. And the pain is already being felt all over the world, with massive battery shortages slowing production of electric cars. In fact, Tesla's planned semi-truck still isn't in production like it was originally proposed because of this annoying crisis. Now you know why you don't see any Tesla semis driving on freeways, even though they were originally planned for 2019. Sadly, the crisis will only grow more annoying and troubling. Electric vehicles are only selling more and more. They're also becoming more affordable, thankfully. EVs are not just for the rich and famous now. They are well within the reach of millions of people all over the globe and are traveling on more roads and parking in more garages. Most analysis claim that by 2024, electric cars will reach a cost parity with gas-powered vehicles. That means that in just a few years, most EVs will cost just as much as traditional dirty cars. That's great news, right? It is, but this means that the battery shortages that are already plaguing the car industry will not just grow, but explode in the years ahead. And by 2030, electric vehicles will need the equivalent of 225 billion iPhone batteries. That's more than 13 times the amount of batteries the world uses today. Obviously, the way things are going right now just isn't going to cut it, and Tesla knows that. What is Elon Musk and his flagship company doing in the midst of this lithium and battery shortage? Obviously, they can't just sit around and wait for the issue to resolve itself. Something must be done for the future of not just Tesla, but all electric cars. Firstly, Musk and his fellow EV entrepreneurs are pledging to develop batteries with less lithium, nickel, and cobalt. If they could follow through on this promise, that would go a great way to keeping electric vehicles on the road. Tesla has gone a step further than other companies. In fact, saying that it will no longer use cobalt at all. This is because that material is typically mined in the country of Congo under horrible worker conditions. But even more needs to be done because simply ditching cobalt won't be enough. There was a long period where Tesla was solely reliant on other companies for its battery needs. That has changed, and Tesla is now in the battery production business too. In fact, 
they have been making great gains. In 2018, they announced that they were producing more battery power than all other automakers combined. However, the years ahead are going to be explosive for Tesla and all electric car companies, as even more consumers purchase their first EVs. Tesla's doubling down pledging to make even more batteries and they are creating partnerships to get that done. For a long time, Tesla has worked with Panasonic as its battery creation partner, but there are also reports that they are reaching out to other companies too, such as China's Catel and South Korea's LG Chem to work together and craft even more batteries. Of course, finding the elements needed for batteries means more mining needs to be done. Don't worry, Tesla's got a plan for that too. The company's hard at work establishing its own mining operation that could dig into the earth and find exactly what is needed for future battery creation. In 2020, Musk announced that Tesla has secured the rights to 10,000 acres of land in Nevada, all rich in untapped lithium reserves. And they won't stop there either. The good news about lithium is that it is ample all over the globe, available in so many different parts of the world. Musk himself called it one of the most common elements on the planet. His exact quote was, there is basically so much damn lithium on the earth, it's crazy. Yes, there is a lot of lithium right below our feet, but it requires a lot of manpower to get it. And since not even one of the world's richest men can get a mining operation up and running overnight, it will surely be some time before Tesla is able to capitalize on the newfound lithium they have brought to the surface. During that time, the demand is only going to grow. That's why Tesla is doing even more, not just solely relying on the old-fashioned procedures and science that have created batteries for generations. It's supposedly changing the game and the science behind batteries. Back in 2019, Tesla bought the supercapacitor specialist Maxwell Technologies. Maxwell is a company that has been long linked to lithium-ion research. This has led to the speculation that Tesla is putting a lot of money and energy into actually tinkering with how batteries work and how they could work better. There are rumors that Tesla is hard at work on a battery that's capable of lasting three times longer than the current batteries the company uses. Of course, that is just speculation. Nothing's been officially revealed. However, it's undeniable that Elon Musk and his Tesla are looking at the nuts and bolts of batteries along with mining and battery creation. Essentially, Tesla is looking at the major battery problems from several different angles and seeing what they can do to ride out this storm and get to the other side of the battery shortage crisis. Not only are they changing the sort of batteries they're using, they're also firing up more mining operations and even digging into the science behind how batteries work. Still, concerns are plenty, and it is still very possible that the next few years will be very difficult for electric car companies. Even as customer demand grows and grows, the demand for EVs is high and the battery supply is suffering because of it. There is no doubt that in the years ahead, while others are panicking about a limited battery supply, Tesla will be working overtime in order to keep their consumers happy. It is using the battery supply obstacle as an opportunity to enhance its own batteries, create new partnerships, and further the science behind its revolutionary vehicles. Even in times of crisis, Tesla is thinking far ahead.